Tomato is one of the most used vegetable in every kitchen. Scientifically, it is called as Lycopersicana esculentum. It's a self-pollinated crop and the fruit type is berry. Just like any other vegetable, tomato loves maintenance. And here, by that I mean tomato loves pruning. But before that, we need to have some idea about the growth habit of tomato. Tomato is divided into determinate type and indeterminate type. Determinate types are dwarf, where plant terminates in flower bud. It is also known as self-topping or self-pruning types. Whereas indeterminate types of tomato are tall, the terminal person is growing, and mostly seen flower is produced at every third internode. The harvesting period of dwarf type is short, whereas the harvesting period of indeterminate type is long. So this brings us to the major difference between these two types. Determinate types, since they are dwarf naturally, they do not need pruning, whereas indeterminate types needs pruning. But we can always remove the unwanted growth dead leaves even in determinate types so while growing tomato the ultimate goal is to help plant yield as much as possible so what we gotta do is to remove unwanted shoots and leaves mainly to ensure that the nutrients goes to fruits so the first step is to identify if our tomato is determinate or indeterminate one which we can do since we already know the differences between them. So to start pruning, we need to know when to prune. Basically, when there are flowers in plant, or when the first set of flowers turn yellow, we need to know that the time to prune has come. Observe the plant thoroughly. If you see some yellow leaves or some dead leaves it is better to start with pruning those leaves first then start looking for suckers suckers are tiny new branches that arise in between the main stem and another branch those new suckers should be removed because they are mostly the nutrient suckers Mostly, it is said that any leaves or any branches below the point where the main stem gets divided into two equivalent branches must be removed. After you have removed unwanted shoots, dead leaves and suckers, then you start looking for the areas where the sunlight is being blocked. So. Prune a little in those areas so that sunlight gets to each and every part of the plant. During this process, we should keep in mind that the cutting tool used need to be properly sterilized. We cannot risk of infecting the plant. This way, we can prune a tomato plant at home very easily and get a good harvest of beautiful tomato berries.